Welcome, Scorpio and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box. We are going to get started off here with messages from your person. What does this person want to say to you, want you to know? Let's see. You were always there for me. Broken promises. That's the thing. You were always there for this person, but you could not always depend on them. And they are doing a lot of reflecting on that now. Okay. My pride got in the way. I see your face when I close my eyes. Yeah, that's all they can think about. Reflect about. You were there for me and I broke my promises to you. My pride messed this up. I let it come between us. Now all I do is see your face and think about you. Think about how you were there for me and I took advantage of you. The karmic is so insecure about you. So for some of you, there could be someone in this person's past, their present, or their future. Okay, um, I haven't figured that out yet. We'll see as we go along and start pulling cards. But at some point, this person could have been involved with someone else who is aware of you. And they know that they're not measuring up. And again, I don't like to compare people. I don't take sides. But in this person's mind... This partner that this person has had some type of interaction with kind of deep down knows this person's still in love with you. That's what I mean, okay? Um, my heart is broken knowing that I hurt you, okay? Daydreaming about spending the whole day together. I don't think I'm good enough for you. Will you respond if I send you a text? Like, do you still want to hear from me after everything? March. So for some of you, March could be a significant time. Um, this could be somebody's birth date, an anniversary, an upcoming date in the future. Do you still trust me? Has this person betrayed your trust? It's always been you. And that's why this person, I feel like, again, I don't... I, always, I read the comments, guys. I know some of y'all will be like, mystic, blah, 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 blah. I'm not trying to compare people, but I do feel like this. there's there's a partner at some point in this situation. I don't know if this person was someone before you, during their relationship with you, or after their relationship with you. But there is a person that this person has been involved with that knows deep down that they're still in love with you. It's really kind of sad, too. Um, let's see. Why aren't you two together? Let's take a look. Your energy, their energy, what's between the two of you, okay? The obstacle or challenge blocking this connection. Their thoughts, feelings, intentions, and what actions can you expect from this person? All right. Your energy. Your person's energy. Their thoughts about you, their feelings. Okay, I'm sorry. Your energy, their energy, what's between you, the obstacle, their thoughts, their feelings, their intentions, and what actions. Okay. Nine of wands under the deck. All right. Here's what I think. And again, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I cannot stress this enough. If this is not your story, don't get upset. Don't get offended. Check your other placements. This is a situation where you were dealing with someone who was probably already involved with someone when the two of you got together. And what I feel like is this per there was a lot of very intense like physical chemistry, very strong, very magnetic attraction between you and this person. And you fell for each other unintentionally, okay? But the problem was this person was already involved. Now, maybe their relationship was rocky. Maybe they had moved out temporarily. Maybe they hadn't legally filed for a divorce. I don't know all the specifics just yet. Again, this is collective. But this is a situation where, again, you really like this person, but you see them as someone who maybe for them, you think maybe for them it was just lust. Because, again, you were always there for me, but I broke my promises to you. You could not depend on me the way that I could depend on you. Would you even answer the phone if I called? Do you still trust me? 
this person may have hid this relationship or hid some specifics about this relationship with this karmic partner, okay? Like maybe they told you something like, oh, we're separate, I sleep on the couch. We're separated, we're in the process of divorce. Maybe that's not true, maybe not entirely. Maybe they were separated, but it wasn't legal yet. Or um, they actually did not sleep on the couch, whatever it was. Maybe they were telling. Maybe they were telling you, you know, we're going to be getting divorced soon, but then going home and like saying something completely different to this other person. Whatever it is, you found out something. Your intuition, your gut was telling you something is off. This is sketchy. This person is aware about you. This third party, this karmic partner, they are aware about you. I don't know if they know exactly who you are, but they know you exist. Um, and I think that this person is wanting to apologize to you. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know what happened. I don't know why I did this. I didn't plan for this. But you were always there for me. It's, it's you. It's always been you. They want to spend time with you. And they feel like that's the best way to, like, to win you over, okay? Um, because no matter what, I, I feel like even if they can't be with you long term or you don't want to try this again they just want to be around you and they want to see you again they want to talk to you again I don't know why I'm getting like I wish I could just hold you one last time for some of you I do feel like you know with this pride card that this may be someone who isn't very good at like using their words to express their feelings like they may be a more physical person or a more like face to face some of y'all might feel like this person's colder through like text or calls but much more affectionate and emotional uh, and a communicative in person that's kind of interesting but I feel like the thing is that you're trying to kind of start over and move forward in a new direction. It's not easy here, but you don't want to keep repeating past situations. You just want to move forward and be happy. You're trying to move on, but you do still feel a connection to this person. Um, now, for those of you who are going to ask about science, I've got a lot of stuff here. I just want to say that right now I have a lot of energies here. Um, I pretty much have everything, but the strongest energies coming through are Cancer, Pisces, Gemini, and Aries. Truly could be, I mean, I have King of Knight of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Cups, King of Wands. I've got everybody here. There's a lot of people I feel like involved. Uh, for some of you, this could be someone where, you know, maybe your families know each other or you're, I don't know, friends of friends of friends or you work together. There's something like a lot of people, there's a lot of connections happening here. I think that with the full here, like I said, this is about you moving forward you know, trying to kind of start over, trying to think about this connection, you know, trying to move past it. But this person, I think you feel it instinctually, they're coming in with an apology. The problem here is that there's distance and you feel like this person was telling you they were ready, but they actually weren't. I really like this depiction of the chariot because I think it's so different from a lot of decks that I currently have, or I have over a hundred decks, but you see, most of the time, it's about someone who's already inside the chariot. They are already in the process of, like, moving or they're about to just go, right? Here, it's like they're taking their time to saddle this, like, seahorse, right? They're, you know, putting the bridle on and brushing it out and getting everything strapped up. It's like we have plans to go, but we're not ready yet. Like, imagine somebody said, let's go on a road trip right now. Oh, but the car is not packed. There's a step or a preparation that's necessary first. That's what I feel like. The problem is this person told you, oh, I'm getting a divorce, I'm separated, but they were, it was more so like an idea for this person. When this person thinks about you, they think about you as someone who has kind of cut them off or been very uh, like strict or something with them because you found out about their situation. For some of you, there could have been children or a pregnancy involved. It's like they were telling you one thing, but yet they were building with someone else, and you're aware of that. They still think about you, and they'll want this with you, though. But their feelings here with the lovers, this is about choice. This is Gemini energy, but it is about choices. You see this person who's, like, looking through the glass? She's a mermaid. He's a human. They're in different worlds. Some of you, this could have been a long-distance relationship or something that were, most of your communication was online. Or, like, through text or something, Skype, that kind of thing. They're very passionate about you. They want this opportunity with you still. 
but they're very they feel very worried because they know that there's a big chance here that you you might be over this you might be done you might be washing your hands of this situation because of you know their behavior in the past their intentions well they want to keep this quiet and that's the one thing you really need to be aware of here it's like i feel like this person's coming in with an apology but beware that this person is not planning to tell this person that they're with and they're still with this person what are their intentions Again, there's that apology. I'm sorry. I'm moving towards you. For some of you also, you're getting moved. This person's relocating. But in their actions, we have that queen of pentacles. So we see this person still in a committed relationship with someone. They have a family, a life with someone. So what actions can you expect, if any, from this person? The devil. Be careful. They're going to try to hold on to both situations because they have not made a decision just yet. They're, Pisces, energy, hangman. They're holding themselves back. They, they're still with this person. Now, again, like I said, I don't take sides. I don't justify negative actions, but I'm here. I'm the messenger. So I think that this person is going to try to come in and say, listen, baby, I'm sorry. You know, Scorpio, you mean the world to me. You're always there for me. You know, I want to make this work again. I want to make this right. You know, um, I know that you're very guarded against me right now, but, you know, give me a chance to talk this out with you. This is going to come up unexpectedly, but this person, when they return, they're still involved with someone else because they're not willing to cut this core with this past person until they're sure that you want to try something with them. Like they're keeping this karmic partner as like their fallback plan because they know that you very well might be like, I'm, I don't want to do this anymore. I mean, it's entirely going to be up to you. But that's what I have for y'all. Thank you again so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye.